Hey guys, we all know that rape is such a devastating thing. Someone in my own family went through that. She was gang raped by four guys. But this particular case I'm talking about happened on January the 7th of this year. So this woman began to tell her tale of how this young man raped her. He was a 30-year-old young man. His name is Melvin O'Neill. He's sitting in jail today. He visited the home at 8.30 a.m. And the woman said because she knew him, they had laughter and conversation. And after they got into an argument, he lured her to the bathroom where he beat her unrecognizably. And as he was beating her with his fist, he was telling her with every blow, I'm going to beat you until you die. And after he was done beating her, he almost brought her to death. That's how badly she was beaten. That she was in the hospital for many days healing. Her eyes were all closed up from the beating, the punches to the eye. And when he was done doing that, he sexually assaulted her. Because you guys know, when a man beats you and then sexually assaults you, it's kind of like a power thing. That they have power over you. So as she was giving the interview, she said, I trusted him because I knew him. And a lot of times, the people who rape us are the people that we know, that the people we are associated with on a day-to-day -day basis. Maybe it's a family friend. Maybe it's a member of the family. But we know the individual. But above all, we trust them. Now, this young man was accused of raping another woman about a year ago. And because this woman knew him, he was a member of the family, she prayed on Facebook for him, and she was telling people, no, he did not do this horrendous deed. He could not be a rapist, because I know him. He would not do that. Here's where this story takes a bizarre turn, folks. Remember I told you she knew this person? Well, the person turned out to be her own biological son that she raised. So Tina Daniels revealed on Facebook that she was a victim of a horrible crime against her at the hands of her own son in Virginia. She said on Facebook that on January the 7th, 2023, her 30-year-old son, Melvin, came to her home at 8.30 in the morning. He lured her to the bathroom where he beat her senselessly and raped her. When I heard this story, folks, I could not help but wonder what kind of monsters we bring into the world and we don't even know. For any man to rape his own mother, I mean, it's such an abomination. So last September, she had a Facebook post and she was praying for her son's victims, calling them enemies and trying to destroy her son. So I guess now she's convinced that her son is a serial rapist because that's what they're calling him. So O'Neill has been taken in to custody. He's in jail. And for all the horrendous crimes he have committed, rape, kidnapping, robbery, presently he's sitting in jail for the horrendous crime against his mother. If convicted, he's looking at a life sentence in prison if he's found guilty. So she's going to be traumatized for life because if you can't trust your own son, who can you trust? Because your son should be next in line to protect you. Like your husband should be the first line of defense. Then comes your son as your protector. But if you can't trust your own son, my God, who can you trust? So media takeout did a bit of digging. They're the ones who broke this story and they found that Melvin had been in and out of jail. But they did not say if he was out of jail waiting for a trial concerning this other rape allegation. The article did not indicate if he's still waiting to be tried on the allegation last year of sexual assault on another woman. And now this is a new charge of him raping his mother.
YouTubers, this is so sad because a lot of us have sons. And when your son gets angry with you, you got to wonder, you know, after reading a story like this, what is in the mind of my son when he gets angry at me? Is he going to assault me, beat me up, or do away with me? So, I mean, it's food for thought because there's an old saying, you make the child, but you don't make the mind. YouTubers, if you got any additional comments about this story, drop it down in the comment section. I am over and out. This was a short one. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel and to this video. Thank you for watching.